Yo, what's up traders? Welcome to a new video and in this video I will go over how to connect your Forex account to my FX book. And when I try to connect my Forex account to my FX book, I struggled a bit. So I was like, maybe I should make a video uh, once I figure it out. So yeah, that's why I'm creating this video right now. So let me show you what you need to do first. So over here, just sign up, just create an account. And yeah, once that is done, just go to myfixbook.com and um, yeah, just click on portfolio. Then you click on add account. Then we see all my accounts over here. And if you do not have uh, any accounts, that is blank. And then you click on add account over here. So then it asks for your platform. So let's say that uh, you are trading on MT4, like the majority of the people, I think. Then you click on MT4 auto update. It basically means that everything is updated in the back end. You don't have to do anything. Uh, so yeah, that is what we want, of course. So then we create our account name so yeah you can just choose whatever you want then I select my broker alright so my broker is FP markets Um, yeah then you can select if you want a live account or a demo or a live tool uh, I go with demo and then you enter your account number over here so that is four four one zero three eight three and then I enter my investor password now if your broker didn't provide you an investor password don't worry just use your normal password it would work as well and then I click on create account all right so then you will see that your account was successfully processed so then we click on set privacy settings all right, I click on verification and over here we see uh, yeah, again my login and the server and we also see an authorization password. So this is really important. We want to change this authorization password. Let me show you how to do that. What are the steps in order to do this? First of all, we need to download the MT4 app on our phone. All right, now I am in the MT4 app. I click on the menu bar on the left side and I click on manage accounts. Then I click on, on the right side. I see three boxes. I click on that and I click on change password. Then it says change master password. I don't wanna change the master password so I click on change investor password. Then I need to enter my current master password. And then I want to select the authorization password. And I want to enter it over here as a new investor password. And I want to do that twice. Then I click on next and then it says that my password has been changed. Then we need to do one more step. So I copy this password and I click on update password and then I need to paste it over here. Make sure that everything is okay. Um, as you can see, I can't click on okay. So what I do is I click on space bar and then backspace and as you can see over here now it says okay and as you can see password changed successfully and then the last thing i need to do is click on connect basically what happened is that my fx book tries to connect with your mt4 platform and make sure that you are the one that you yeah say that you are so it tries to verify if you are the the righteous owner of the mt4 account and yes you can see account authorized successfully 
so that is good next i will show you some extra steps which are optional let me show you quickly how i would set up this my book account so over here like i already uh, mentioned yeah you can choose your own name and then over here you can enter a brief description of your system uh, yeah you can enter whatever you want whatever you want then the only thing you need to know is that this description will be shown on your systems page so uh, everybody is able to see it when they visit your your uh, my Facebook page okay something like this all right so then you can select the system type which is technical or fundamental and then the trading type manual automated or mixed uh, if you place your trades manually then you click on manual if you're using EAs robots then of course you click on automated and if you are more like a hybrid trader then you click on click on mixed all right over here this is already filled in demo and leverages one to five hundred then i click on permission and as you can see this is all disabled because my account must be fully verified first in order to change this so how are we going to do that first of all i click on save so this is saved then I click on accounts without portfolio over here I see my account I click on edit and now as you can see I'm able to change this and uh, yeah so I have already verified that is what I showed you a couple minutes ago because I used this method and like I showed you with the MT4 app and the investor password and all that uh, because I use that uh, my account is now verified and then I'm able to change this so yeah then if you want your account private or public uh, this is where you need to select that so yeah maybe you are more like a private trader then and you only want to track your your numbers and use it for yourself then it's okay but if you like to share your numbers yeah, your your trading history with other people then you click on public and yeah this is something that I really like to be honest to just uh, yeah, show your stats your trading history with others uh, not every trading account but uh, especially if you are looking for yeah, maybe funding in the future then this is my yeah, my Facebook is something that is really useful uh, because uh, it tracks everything and you, uh, you can just share it with your yeah, with a company that that funds you or a person and uh, it's really easy to see what your numbers are if you uh, yeah, use good risk management if you're not over trading uh, what is your drawdown how many trades have you won how many uh, yeah, did you lose that's why we are using my fixbook so I click on public over here I can select if I want my account number to be private or public for now I click on public my balance it's also something that I want to share with other people. Trading history is fine by me. Lot size is also fine by me. Open trades, open orders, uh, comments, it's not really necessary. Uh, tags, goals, yeah, it's not really that necessary in my opinion. And stop loss, TP, yeah, you could choose for that. Uh, it's just completely up to you. But let's say that you have an account and you don't want other people to know which trades are open right now then you can click on private while they only see your oh well let me show you they only see your trade history uh, so uh, which trades are closed uh, but not which trades are open so yeah they can't copy you if you are scared that other people will copy your trades then uh, yeah just select private there's nothing wrong with that uh, but yeah in this case I will leave it open and you can always change this if you want so it's not something permanent and then I click on save okay once that is finished you hover over portfolio and you select the trading account that you just created over here it's the PT UH80 hybrid as you can see this is the growth curve the equity curve and I use 0 0.64 lot size in total and I 
have gained 0.98%. We see over here the daily gain, how much you have gained, or yeah, how much you're gaining daily on average. And then the monthly, we see the drawdown, we see the balance, the equity, and the profit. Like I showed you earlier is that if you do not want other people to see your balance or your profit or uh, let me show you yeah now I do not have any orders open but let's say that I do have your USD sell and I do not want other people to uh, yeah see that I'm currently in a euro USD trade then yeah they don't see it if you have select private and yeah as you can see uh, a lot of information for you to analyze and I'm not going over everything right now so yeah that is basically how you are able to connect your MyFixbook to your MT4 account uh, if you have any questions just comment down below in the comment section and uh, yeah, I will do my best to respond if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and I see you in the next one